drug overdose nine months ago, wants to hear from New Brunswick RCMP about an investigation related to his death. 20-year-old Cody Cook died of an overdose of prescription drugs in June last year. And as CTV's Rick Grant reports, he was the second son Wendy Golden lost to drug and alcohol abuse. On June 24, 2014, Wendy Golden returned home in the evening from work and found her youngest son, Cody Cook, on the couch. Started doing CPR. And the ambulance came and took over for me, and I didn't do any good. Five years earlier, her oldest son, 23-year-old Corey, had been out drinking for the night, returned to his apartment, and turned the stove on to cook a meal, then fell asleep. His apartment caught fire and uh, he died from smoke inhalation. She has one surviving son, a stepson, and a daughter. She can't handle the death of a second brother. And Golden still struggles with Cody's death. I still can't sleep without reliving that night. But pain is now mixed with anger over Cody's overdose of clonazepam and what Golden says is $7 worth of methadone. $7 cost my son his life. Close friends say Cody smoked marijuana but didn't use anything else. I was shocked because I couldn't see him. I don't know, I couldn't see Cody taking it. And they were given to him, allegedly give it to him by um, a co-worker. Golden says about a month and a half after her son's death, in August 2014, the Brunswick RCMP launched an investigation. And she says the explanation she was given is that although Cody Cook died at home in Amherst, the drugs were allegedly provided or sold to him in a parking lot where he worked in New Brunswick. She hasn't heard anything about the investigation, she says, but she hopes it leads to charges. The young man that sold those drugs to my son is still walking the street. He hasn't been held accountable. Cody Cook's death has modified the lifestyle of some of his friends. Don't smoke as much marijuana no more. Um, I've never touched prescription drugs, any other drugs. Besides answers from the RCMP and hopes of charges, Golden wants the death of both of her sons to have an impact on others, particularly parents and those with influence over young people. Let them know about the dangers of alcohol, prescription drugs. With the loss of two sons, Golden says she now has to know at all times where her remaining son and her stepson are. It's the only way, she says, that she can get peace. And she says the two young men, 122, 123, live and stay at home so that she can feel that sense of comfort. But she says the house itself is really under a cloud of sadness. And in fact, it is not the same house that Cody had died in. She couldn't live there anymore, so they moved. And she said there was such stress on the family, it's also led to financial problems. Amanda? Aubrey Rick, thank you very much. You're welcome. CTV's Rick Grant live for us in Halifax tonight.